Welcome back team. You're Gaming with the Colonel and this is Noob Gaming EU Force Portugal. So uh, I appreciate all the views that uh, the first episode got and I'd especially like to thank JB Murray and Diamantino for subscribing. Thank you so much you guys rock. Also to Diamantino who explained to me what my uh, let's see I know I'm going to mispronounce this again Madeira meant in Portuguese it means wood who would have known thanks so much for that uh, learn something new every day okay so we're back and uh, Diego he's uh, he's kind of sucking here with his uh, ship so he's going to have to take quite a while to continue on it is now January 1st 1462 we are on Iron Man I'm going to unpause it and see I don't really remember what we were doing but that's okay. I know we're still exploring. I know we're trying to get to 400 so we can get to the quest for the new world. Uh, we need another 230 some divided by seven. That's a lot of months that we still have to go. So I'd really like to get some diplomatic power some other way. And I don't know how to do that. Our monthly maintenance is uh, all the way down on here. And we have a truce with Granada, a self-inflicted gunshot wound until 65 that we created for ourselves. So, uh, we are building up a spy network in Granada. And uh, we are hoping that we can go ahead and fabricate some claims or something. I still have a claim on it. But I don't know that I have a casus belly, so that's, that's my problem. All right, so we're going to chill. We're going to wait for this to uh, repair. We are at peace. Things are green. I'm not going to do this national decision. Uh, Advancement of Religion Act, uh, institution spread minus 5%. That would be bad. I'm trying to get the Renaissance. Um, and I was trying to figure out how to get that. And there was some button somewhere. There it is. Institution tech penalty minus 12, it's bad. So um, we have feudalism, we have this. I can't embrace it yet, I guess. I don't know what this means, but colonialism, I guess, is nowhere yet in the world, and that's what I'm trying to get fast. So um, in order to do that, I need conquest of the new world. When embraced, I get some minus things here. Uh, origin is in Bologna. Okay, good to know. And we're continuing to slowly build up. I haven't really built much, uh, many troops. I'm still below my force limit. Um, there is a mission here somewhere that says build to the force limit. And uh, when you do that, your morale is plus five and your land maintenance is minus five. So I suppose if I did that, Problem is it would cost me like 40, 40, 40 money, 40 ducats, because the cheapest guy I can buy is 10. So that's pretty expensive. Looks like the Ottomans are sieging Toledo. Well, I'm going to bump up the speed here a little bit. I'm at speed one. I didn't even notice that. Normally, I, I, I go at speed two. I guess as I get better, I'll go to speed three. Down here in wood, I like that, the island of wood, we have, uh, we're still waiting for that guy to get pumped up. Okay, yeah, we're moving faster now. And I'd really like to build some more buildings in here with some money. Um, I think last, where did I put that church? Built a church somewhere, didn't I? I built a church in Portugal. Um, so the tax base went up from like 0.69 to 1.1. So that's good. Uh, we're going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm not still not quite sure what the reduction thingy is. Um, but I guess doing that is good, right? And these guys are running all over Castile. 
That's bad. Where's Castilian armies? I guess he's right here. He hasn't called me in to help him yet. Money is good. It's almost at plus three. But again, what I really need is another 200 power. Diplomatic type. We're good to go. Uh, somebody suggested I could kill my my good fleet, my, my my heavy my heavy ships, and save a lot of money. Uh, I guess the maintenance on those is about uh, 0 0.44, so almost half a ducat each. So I could save myself almost two ducats. However, I mean that's my power, right? That's uh, these four ships. These four heavy ships is what allows me to ensure the st Straits of Gibraltar stay mine. Okay, we're going to get rid of these because I really don't... I still don't know what the disputed succession thing is. Um, that I know. I can make a state. I, I figured that out, and um, it wasn't going to be worth it to me if I did it, right? So, click to make a state. That's Gibraltar. Can't do anything there. Upper Andalusia. I guess there's one, two, three, four things in there. If I click to make a state, or five, then... Uh, It'll cost us three in monthly maintenance and increase our income by zero. So that's not really worth it. Um, I, I'm not sure. You guys are going to have to tell me. Is that worth doing, making that state? I don't know if it is. Um, would appreciate any comments in there. All right. So are we fixed up yet? It's September. We are. Let's go find a place to explore. Diego is living, man. He's living large. There's still some darkness over here, and that's okay. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. It's either go up there or go around. Well, this would be exciting if I did that. Or come down here to there. Let's go all the way around the cave here. I know this is going to really hurt, but let's do it. I, I mean, if he makes it back, I'll be happy. I don't know that he will. Last time it was really close, I think. Um, so I'm concerned. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on that. It's that long time at sea thing. <sighs> but he is getting a little long in the tooth anyway. Um, I just don't want to lose my ships. And of course, if the explorer dies, we don't get the modifier of minus three. Looks like uh, Castile is continuing. Oh, looks like Castile is trying to come back here. Happy for you. Another year is almost passed. Oh, I can now construct something. This is fabulous. I'm going to go see what else I can construct. Probably a church or uh, what was the other one? A marketplace or something? Let me make sure this guy's going to be okay. Then We're already at 2%. Um, it's going to be brutal. I would really love to come get the Cape. It's an uncolonized land. There's only 500 natives. I don't know how far I can go or what the dealio is on the colonists, but... Uh, okay, did we... Did we there yet? Group relations were maximum. Let's recall that Democrat. That uh, diplomat, sorry, not the Democrat. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so we're starting to collect a little bit of money. It is not a buttload. Uh, so a buttload is a technical term. It is more than a crap load, but less than an ass load. So I just wanted to make that clear to everybody who's listening. You have to know these things. They are all relative. And it looks like we've discovered the uh, Cornoros Islands with some very aggressive guys on it. Okay, so let's see. The nobility estate modifier has expired. Their influence is now plus 10. Okay, good. The burgers estate has expired. Their influence is now 10, minus 10. Okay, whatever. Let's see, we got the state of Mozambique. 
And we got a lot of unknown lands here, uncolonized lands. Very exciting. So these guys are at 70. Oh, that's going to be close. So we're looking at 8% already. Let's see if they make it back. If they make it back, we'll probably know whether or not we can send them again. Let's uh, put that on pause real quick and uh, think about building something. So, um, Fortville, build another building. We could build trade, local trade power. Let's see, where, where's the trade thing in here? Is there something? Trade power, 28. Okay, let's go, let's go boogie around and see who has more. 2.9, 2.9, 3.9, 4.9. Thirty-four. Okay, that seems to be our high one. That's in our capital. So if we're going to build something, that would be the place to do it. Okay, so if we build this, then we get 0 0.2. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Um, 0 0.2 monthly for 100, that's a long time. It's five per year. I mean, I'm sorry, one for every five years. It'd be 500 years before we get that money back. Seems ridiculous. Now this local trade power increases it by 50%. That would give us a lot more trade power. I'm going to do that and see what happens. I, I mean, I don't know. I know that this is our trade node. Let me see here, this trade. I know that this is our trade node, right? So... And the trade power in here is mostly, well, it's about us, but not all. And we collect eight money from there, 8.66. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this and find out what the difference is going to be if we get a trade node. Coastal defense, I'm not doing that. So marketplace, local trade node, 34. Click on that. Okay, let's see what happens when it ticks off. Okay, it ticks off, and now... What are we? Still at 34. That doesn't make any sense. But we now have 1% more, looks like. Oh, we only earned 5 now. What What the heck? Thought we earned 8 before. Did we lose money from that? Oh, no, 8.6. Okay, I don't know. Doesn't seem to have done anything for me. Um... Oh, because I'm still building it. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Oh, he made it back. He barely made it back. You know what? 30%. You know, I might be able to send him around there again. Um, after, of course, he heals up. We've lost Causus Belly. Why? Oh, because did we lose our thing? We have gained it against Castile. Why? Because they took Malaga. Let me go back to the political map mode. Yeah, that's why. Okay, well, that doesn't do well. All right, so we really want to do this, do diplomacy, uh, fabricate a claim, but we don't have a neighboring province, so we can't do that. All right. All right, so we need to pull them out doesn't matter at this point um, we weren't able to get that I really wanted it didn't happen and I think I hosed myself that one time when I pieced out with them and I shouldn't have so I guess Tangiers will be my next uh, my next step so I'm gonna take a look at the ledger I'm gonna find out how many armies the Ottomans have Wow they got a lot 43 I won't be messing with the Ottomans. We got the largest army in the world, looks like. Oh no, hold on. Infantry. No, the Melmadukes, they got the second largest army in the world. All right. We're good. Um, got no rebellions going on anywhere. Maintenance is good. Money's coming in. Ships are repairing. Diego's still living. That. I love that he's still living. We are 100 away from getting 
conquest of the new world. I am hoping that nobody else has colonialization yet. Nope. All right. Lots of uh, stuff here. I don't know why that's still red. I guess nothing is spread in there yet. Um, can't embrace it yet. Not sure. I guess I can just wait. I'm not going to spend my, my power right now because I really want to get to 400. These guys are protecting trade. That's something I might want to do. I might want to get some more some more ships, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll see on that one. Okay, so we know it's 30% to get around to there. Um, get around the corner. Maybe I should go here. Gosh, I really need a, a little bit more. That's going to be dangerous to go further that way. I think what I want to do is probably go up in here. Uh, probably would be better. So I'm going to go dock at the Azores. Hold on. No, it's too late now. Should have waited for the takeoff. Either way, it's going to take some time. Let's see how long it take them. About half a month to get to the Azores. I uh, will take off two months and then we'll go up to uh, North America and do some more exploring there. So I don't know what I should do next, other than wait for this to get to 400. Um, I'm really kind of clueless. Wish you guys would help me out. I just love my, my wood island. Uh, thank you, Diamantino. That is wonderful. They discovered an agent. Okay, so Morocco is trying to make some claims. Probably on this province down here. And we're pretty protected up that way, so I'm going to come down here and get on that way. Um, one more tick. It's January. We're going to save real quick. And we have another year complete. Alrighty then. Let's go on up here. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if that's the right choice. Go from here into there? I don't think so. Let's go here first. And then go there. I don't want to sit in the open ocean and catch that uh, that huge penalty of attrition, right? This is all attrition city anyway. I mean, that's terrible. Can we get out of there? England accepted peace on Burgundy. They ceded Calais. Bummer. Bummer for them. So Burgundy's looking bigger. France, not really a cohesive unit yet. Okay, it looks like we found some guys up there. 89%. It took about 11% to go across, but it, that was at zero. Again, I'm making as much use of him as possible. I am 50 away. Now 2%, so as soon as we're done here, we're going to send them back. Hmm. One more try. I'm here. Might as well. Might as well go. God, I'm getting greedy. I'm getting so greedy. All right. Let's head on back to the Azores. If he makes it, he should make it, not a problem. Let's take a look at this here. This would be New York, right? And this would be Maryland, which is still what is that? Totemist. Cool. The natives aren't as aggressive here. Are aggressive there. What are these guys? Connecticut. Um, let's send you a. Uh, let 
let's improve some relations. Because I'm coming in that direction. Why not? Okay, you made it back. 70 some percent. Yeah, that was good. I'm going to go back and do that again. In three ticks. That's uh, June, July. And August 1st, we'll head on back out again. And money is coming in. We're now plus three. Before we were what, uh, 2.8 something or another. That is good. That is all right. Um, do we want to develop this area at all? Let's see. What kind of trade power here? Nothing. Tax base is pretty low. Next place we want to do something with is either put trade power here. Okay, did, did we ever build this thing? Okay, it's built. So let's go check on the uh, trade power. So we now basically got a total, one more than we had before. Uh, it was 8.66, so that was pretty much a whole thing. Oh, military divided. Opposing factions in the military are advocating different tactics. We need to back one. Ports are our strength. I guess that's uh, a 10-year thing. Siege ability. Um, I'm more of a defensive player, although let's, let's go with forts are our strength uh, because we've got to protect. What, what happened here? Oh, that's a trade note. I just, did I take something? we got to protect this area down here, right? So I really wanted these because I would have more power in the trade node. That didn't work out. Okay. Three more months. Three more months. Let's go. And how's my leader doing? Is he getting old yet? 32. I'm perfectly happy for him to die off anytime. Let this guy go in. He is so much better. He's a total of 14. This guy was a total of seven. He's twice as good as his dad. Still want him to croak. I don't know how much money I need for a colonist or this or that or the other, so I'm going to not spend any here in the near future. Uh, two more months. I'm so excited. So, so exciting. Okay, he's at 100%. Let's send him out. See, is there any place in here we can go? Yeah, sure, why not? All right. We're going to follow along with him because we don't, you know, want him to die of attrition or anything. Oh, wow, that went to three quick. Probably because he's in the open sea. At the end of the month, it'll tick off and they'll both go to 97. And there's 97. Not even a whole month. Okay. So we now have, we can invest in a new idea, which we will. We're going to invest in a quest for the new world. Spend that diplomatic power. All right. So what does that give us? We need to have 400 again. Allows recruitment of call, uh, explorers and conquistadors. Okay, but it doesn't allow us to colonize anything, does it? Okay. So now I guess we're going to watch for... We still have no colonists, and I was kind of hoping it would give us that. I suppose I can send guys over and prep if I purchase a conquistador uh, and take over some land. I don't know what my range is. I really want to get to the Cape Verde Islands first. Okay. The Gulf of Lawrence up there. It's cold. It's December. It's ice. I'm surprised I'm not frozen over. All right, let's uh, get that and then go home. Back to the Azores. All right, so we can purchase conquistadors. So let's see, how do we do that? Uh, doesn't look like from that tab. Let's see, send missionary, make core, change culture, development. I don't know what that is, so I can do what here. 
Spend 50 administrative to improve the tax base. Oh, look at that. I didn't know I could do that. I'm going to spend money to improve stuff. Hmm. Now declare war on them. Except that I don't have a cause of spelling, do I? <coughs> okay, let me get out of this. It's not what I'm looking for. I didn't really get hurt at all doing that thing. Thought it would be worse. All right, so what do I need for technology here? It's tech up again. Um, administrative, I can get workshops. I hear they're good. So local production efficiency. So we'll be getting those guys. Um, looks like we need 760. So that's still a ways away. I still got to figure out how to purchase a conquistador. All right, so what are we going to do here? I guess the first thing we're going to do when we when we click up is go take a look at what's in here. All right, let's go take a look. Now, and then I think here. Okay, well, let's do that. All right, so conquistador. No merchants. Got plenty of uh, guys available. I guess we're going to see if we can make some friends with Aragon for now. Improve, relation, uh, improve some relations with them. They, they're willing to do a royal marriage. I'm going to have to do that. Oh, I don't want to lose. Although we get a... Okay, so what does this say here? You are Queen Da Kona, being wise and respected Catholic, has maintained good relations with cardinals and the people of the church, even outside the borders of Portugal. They've recently discovered a man who has just been promoted to cardinal who's also a good friend of theirs. He's considering moving to our country to facilitate their mutual work on theological text. If we aid in this process, we would also have a cardinal in the Curia who is not only loyal <coughs> to Kuna, but also to Alfonso V. Who's Alfonso V? Is that me? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so we can gain 100 administrative power, or we can gain a cardinal. Now, I don't, I still don't know what that means, gaining a cardinal. Let's see, what kind of influence do I have? Doesn't look like any. What does this chance mean? Sort by chance to get Curia control. Hmm. I don't even know if I want to be the uh, papal controller. So right now it's England. Now do I care about having a cardinal? So France has two cardinals. But what does that mean? What does that give them? That's what I want to know. Does it give them any, any points here? Does it give them any papal points? Any papal influence points? I don't know. Um... I have a lot of influence, but I want to spend that on stability. So papal influence is up here, I guess. I gain, oh, I guess I have a controlled cardinal, and each controlled cardinal gives you a one or a half. And a cardinal in administration gives you another half. So you can rapidly get up cardinal stuff. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna we are gonna do that. Let's see what happens when we bring him in. I now have two active cardinals. Um, now let's see what it's looking like. So now I get another half point. All right. All right. So that means I'm gonna get uh, this value up quicker, uh, which I'm happy with because I want to use that for stability. 
and I want to keep make sure that these guys stay the Pope here Papal States Roma you know what I feel like I want to offer him an alliance but that might drag me into a war let me improve relations yeah it might drag me into some crusade now let's do it what the heck okay oh goodness did I forget about are my ships about to die Where did I put him? There he is. Totally forgot about that. There. Send him home after this. He's ready at nine percent. That is uh so not good, right? So why don't you go back to the Azores? And we'll continue the mission. I'm just so glad that he's still around, man. He's been around forever. Okay, so we're clicking up to 96. Again, we're going to try to figure out how do you get a conquistador, right? So how do you purchase one of those bubbas? Uh, doesn't look like you can do it there. Does not look like you can... Uh oh yeah, high naval attrition. Yeah, we know. Um... Doesn't look like you can do it there. Economy. Raise war taxes. Reduce inflation. I don't even know what my inflation is right now. Um, oh, hold on. Military shortcuts. Okay. Mothball. Oh, I can mothball forts. Let's mothball the forts. What does Fort Maintenance look like now? Fort Maintenance is down to one. It was at two. That saves me some money. Didn't know I could do that. Okay. So, I don't know. What okay, that's that estates thing. Subjects. I don't have any subjects. Okay, so let's see your leaders. Oh, I got another one. Hold on. Look at this. I have another. Exp what is that guy? Oh, he's a general. Okay, so how do I buy? Okay, here, here's here's the buy. Okay, we can recruit a general, recruit a conquistador, explore, give your heir a military command. This will make a general out of your heir. He or she will be in command of your armies. Having the heir lead the armies could be beneficial, but also a large risk. Yeah, I don't know if I want to risk my guy dying on the battlefield. He's a good guy. If he if he if he was if he was shit, I would do it, right? But he's not. So a conquistador costs 50. And he costs maintenance. Okay, so I can have two leaders and have two leaders without upkeep. Okay, so the bottom line is after one of these guys dies, I, maybe I'll purchase one of these other guys. I've done about enough exploring so I'm not so much concerned about that. Now I need to start colonizing, and that's the real issue. So, I've mothballed my forts. I need to remember that. Okay, they're in red, so that's nice to know. Um, this is good news. This is good news. Um, things are coming along. I need another 400 to get a colonist, looks like, on the ideas uh, thing. Um, which is unfortunate. Oh, it's so hard to get this. Especially with my shitty leader. Let's see if uh, colonialism is uh, at all. The institution is at all coming out. What is this? Oh, that's Renaissance. Colonialism is not yet there. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what you need. Um... It doesn't really say what you need in order to get it. Okay, so let's see. The earliest date um, that it can... This is the earliest date that it can appear. 1500. Okay, so it's not going to happen right now anyway. Um, so 
Everything else is green. Have at least one province in the new world. Oh, have discovered. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so we're ready to go. Military leader has left us. Okay, the Earl has left us. He no longer serves us. That's okay. Um, Morocco has once again fabricated a claim. They can declare war on us. I need to unmothball the... I need to go back to the military thing and activate the forts. I also need to get my army to dodge because if they attack directly, that would be extremely bad, right? So... Um, My army would need some time to recoup. So let's go back to uh, the homeland. Well, we can always leave if we have to. If they declare war, we're leaving. I'll definitely be calling in my buds. Okay, so we got money. And it looks like buying conquistadors and such uses uh, the powers up here. So we can spend money to improve a province. Okay, so Lisboa now has a market. And we can throw at it a church. Church is money. So I'm currently making 1.89. We'll find out how much it is after I throw the church in there. Let's see, is there any place that's better than that? No, I don't think so. All these are lower. This is 67. That's 67. Okay. So we have a church there. We have a marketplace and we have a church in Lisboa. In Porto, uh, tax, we have a church. Oh, no, maybe we don't. We don't have a church yet. Let's throw the church in there. And we'll see what happens. 1.89. 1.98, I'm sorry. And uh, we'll go from there and figure out what we have once the church is built. Going to get rid of some of these uh, some of these areas. I really need to get to four hundred again. Let's go send. Let's go get a uh, alliance with diplomacy, the papal states. Oh, we already have an alliance. Okay, uh, we're going to improve relations because we want to get this higher. I gain three per year. Each year. Wow, that's going to take forever. But it will help me in about. I don't know, five years or so. Austria has embraced the Renaissance. Good for them. I want to embrace the Renaissance. Let's go ahead and send him back when he's done. We can send him back to here. See, I want to embrace the Renaissance. Okay, this guy here, whatever his name is, Teles de Menesis, controversial protectionist. Um, he's providing, started to providing advice for trade developments in Portugal. Internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased tax regulations. Sounds like mercantilism. Um, while their decisions to improve infrastructure have been appreciated. Recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question the, their philosophy. They argue the king has taken his advice too readily and that we should look for mutual beneficial deals with other nations. Uh, my, my, uh, I've been up here forever and it looks like it's as high as it goes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and gain too mercantilism. Basically, what I believe mercantilism is, and I'm not sure, it's trade protectionism, allowing you to get a bigger slice of the share in the trade node. I don't know if it shows here anywhere where that goes. 
um, retain trade, trade power. We have 37%, they have 49%. This trade node here is wonderful. I wonder who's got control of that. Nobody, probably. Uncolonized land. I really need to colonize some land. He's at 83. I really want to send him around here again. I really, can I? Yeah, there's no Suez Canal right now, so. So that ain't happening. That's going to tick off in two months. But I'm really enjoying uh, the money. And so I'm at plus two. This, this is going to expire. I'm not going to be able to get it. Not only that, it's uh, unfortunately owned by Spain. He's my ally. I want to keep that alliance going. It looks like I'm about to gain a new uh, thing here. Rising star? Okay, hold on. Let's find out what this is. Uh, throughout his career, Sitano de Siquiria has left a strong impression on everyone he has met or worked with. From his time as a promising student to his rise to positions of increasing responsibility, he has consistently done well and found new solutions to whatever he has faced. It is clear, however, uh, that for some of his background, both as a commoner and as a Sunni, he has now reached about as high as he can come. It would raise quite a few eyebrows to have a man, no matter how talented, assume the highest offices of the state with such a background. But what is this? I can lose prestige. And he joins the court. Oh, so it's a plus two trade of guy. Can gain 10 prestige. But there's a base that it keeps losing anyway. There's a decay. And I don't really want to lose prestige, but but a plus two trade advisor would not be bad. Currently, we have a, I'm not quite sure where he goes. Trade efficiency plus 10. He's 20% cheaper. He's plus two. This guy is plus two. Skill plus two for what though? Is that trade going in diplomacy? We already have we already have a guy. He's a trader. He's a trader. Yeah, we don't need him. We don't need him. Of course he's gonna die. Yearly death risk of 9%. <sighs> but he's free. Lose five prestige and gain this guy. I'm going to gain that guy. Joins the court. Okay, so he is here. Nope. He's here. He's age 30. He's cheaper. He's born there. As soon as my other guy dies, I can add him. So that's okay. Let's see. What do we got going on here? He's too expensive and that doesn't matter. And this guy here. They're both too expensive. But knowing, knowing that I have that guy in court and he's half price, as soon as this guy dies, I can throw him in there. It'll be all good. Uh, for five prestige. I guess that's okay. All right, so he's good. He's almost at 100. When he takes off, I'll send him. I want to send him back around here and see what happens. That is a long trek. England has declared war on their new enemy. Not sure who their enemy is. Killed there. All right, so we've got to be close to getting a new tech here. Very close. Workshop. We like workshop. We're going to build workshops. Want to keep that diplomacy stuff going high. Money is good. 2.1. Exploration has been good. Uh, Cape Verde Islands is going to be the first place I colonize. Why? 
because it's a jumping stone into the Ameri into the Americas. At least that's my thought. There looks to be something that goes on over there. I'm not sure, but that looks like it's something that should be going on there. Okay, we'll recall that diplomat. Reaching our maximum value, we're now at 86, but the Pope. Uh, so we need 14 more. 14 more at three per year is five years. Uh, so we're looking at uh, 71. Uh, I would really love to uh, embrace the Renaissance. It needs to get here as soon as possible. So this, this is interesting, uh, the, the uh, half point per cardinal. Um, that would be something. Okay, I've got a, uh, let's see, is that? Okay, he's uh, discovered some more stuff and he's got a little bit hurting, so we're gonna send him home. Back to, back to the island of wood. Thank you, Diamantino. Okay, so we've got a new, we've got an extra diplomat. Uh, the Ottomans, let's let's do some relations with, we are at minus 200, wow. Well, they're a rival, we're never going to get them on our side. So, um, the Ottoman, on the other hand, we can send some diplomacy over there and improve relations. We don't really want war, especially now with the Ottomans, they seem to have the largest army, along with Morocco. And I'm all about not warring here. All right, so... And again, somebody's building a spy network. And we've got another one. Um, these guys don't really like us. Let's, uh, let's improve relations with them. Again, I'm all about trying to do this peacefully. We've got a much better leader in this sultan here. I'm really kind of enjoying EU4. This is, uh, again, you know, I've got about, I don't know, 50 hours into it now. I've only got five achievements. Um, but it's a really fun game. I still don't know what I'm doing, but, uh, but it's fun. I wish I could have done better here. I did at least get one more province as a core, so that's all good. Oh, we got some high naval attrition. Yeah, that's the uh, He may not make it back. He's at 40%. Come on, baby, make it home. He's at 30%. Oh, he may not make it. I may have overextended Diego. Oh, please make it back. And he's at 10%. Oh, he's at 18. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, he's he's done. Get, get home. Get home. Get home. You're in friendly waters, dude. Get home. Get to the port. You're so close. Oh, he made it. Whoa. Well, he's not going any further. That's for sure. All right, we're at 87. And he's going to take a while to repair. <laughs> Nine clicks worth, ten clicks worth. Uh, that's uh, basically next year. He'll be good to go. Okay, so we are again getting closer to workshop. We are at workshop. Okay, I can now build workshops. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna wanna do that, wherever the highest production is. 36, 25, 25, 20, 20, 15, 10, 12, 15. What about down here? We've got fish. 12 production, zero production. Wow, that place blows chunks. Sorry, I had a cough there. Okay, so it looks like Lisboa and uh, Porto have the highest production. Um, looks like those are my two main areas, the trade power and so the you know, I'll put another marketplace in here when I can. What's going on? Provincial unrest. Where at? The Moroccan separatists. 
Okay, looks like we're going to have another. That's going to take forever to go, but we'll let that run. We will let that run. I think that's going to be a thing throughout the entire game. another five months then we'll go do some more terra incognita um, I don't know do I need to discover this crap right here I'm not sure do I come around here or is that gonna be danger will Robinson um, guess I can go to war with Tunis but why would I I'm thinking a little, as soon as I can get to these islands, that's where I'm going. So I don't know how I can best get there. I don't know what my range, colonial range is going to be. Is it, let's see here. If I click on the island, does it tell me? Um, game re yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to war. Let's see, it's got a development of 10. Um, settler chance, only 14%. Wow. It's pretty aggressive. But looks like there's a bunch of these islands. Santa Lucia. What's this one? There's just like a bunch of I, they, I guess they're, they get lumped together. Barbados is separate. Supply ships. No fleets have patrolled here recently, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how all that works. Uh, we'll find out when we get to um, We're not there yet. We're now at 89. We are looking good to get to 100. I will finally get my stability up a little higher, which will be great. Um, stability is good. More is better. And that's what I'm going to use my papal power for. I have point three. I'm not worried about that. How long? How long before you go into revolt here, dude? Your revolt chances. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put this on pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. So sorry, I had to take a phone call. Uh, we got an, a, a random event here, real quick. We had this one before. We can get another cardinal. And I'm kind of wanting to get this cardinal, even though I'm going to lose 100 administrative power. Now, I don't know if it's going to put me negative or not, but let's find out. Um, here we go. We now have three cardinals, and it did put me negative. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and then we'll come back next time and see if we can get the, the papal influence up to 100 so that we can increase our stability. Again, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please comment. Let me know below what I can do better. I'm really looking, to lear uh, looking forward to learning this game and being better at it. Uh, like, subscribe. That would be even better. You've been Gaming with the Colonel, and I'm out.